one of Michigan's representatives to the RNC, Republican National Committee, who is already under fire for controversial comments about homosexuals, said last week that gays and lesbians want free health care to pay for AIDS treatment. Wow, this guy really seems to think that the LGBT community are that what they're not people, they don't deserve health care. I mean, the premise is absurd to begin with, but come on. In a speech at the Berrien County Republican Party's annual holiday reception, former state representative, so this man has been elected. He's an elected Dave Agema says he has seen gay co-workers at American Airlines claim someone with AIDS was their spouse so the person could receive medical benefits. Folks, they, gay people, want free medical because they're dying when they're between 30 and 44 years old. This is what this psycho said. To me, it's a moral issue. It's a biblical issue. Oh, let's play the biblical card. Let's not worry about the people who are getting divorced 15 times. Let's not worry about the fact that you can order a Russian mail order bride. Let's worry about people who actually love each other. That's a biblical issue, people. He went on to say traditional marriage is where it should be and it's in our platform. Those in our party who oppose traditional marriage are wrong. He made the comments during a speech in which he urged Republicans to reach out to both independents and Tea Partiers. You're not going to do well with independents on this one. It's just that simple. Social conservatism, conservatism really rubs people the wrong way. I don't know if you've noticed this, but only the fringe seems to get down with these kind of disturbing beliefs. I mean, we're all about small government in the GOP, except when it comes to who you love, then it's all about the Bible, baby. Freedom of religion, it's all about the Bible, baby. So he was taking, he's taking heats for these comments, obviously. In April, he shared an article on his Facebook page that accused gays of living a filthy lifestyle and urged Christians to help them get out of it. He also said on a radio show, which is run by the Family Research Council, as a matter of fact, when Jesus caught a woman in the act of adultery, and when they brought her to him, he said, I don't condemn you, but go and sin no more. That ought to be the church's goal here. We ought to be saying to these people, hey, we don't agree with your lifestyle and we'll help you get out of it, but we want you to know the facts of what's going to happen to you if you stay in this lifestyle. What's wrong with this statement? Being gay is not a lifestyle. It's who you are. And frankly, I think all of these people that are these members of the Republican Party that are con so concerned about what people are doing in the bedroom and you know the way that they raise their children and their family need to take a close look at themselves and why it bothers them so much that two people who are in love shouldn't be able to have health care together and shouldn't be able to get married it's absolutely absurd, and this man is being condemned as a political maniac.